storied uh, rivalries in Chicago. J.J. Rockets has been on an absolute tear lately. A little oh, bit yeah. of an aside from this, that man has not finished, I think, lower than second at anything I've seen him go to in a long time. Yeah, not this been, season, not this April. He's been putting in work. But uh, back to these two, Ned and Tyroy. Both of them, the hidden bosses at one point, the young bloods. Yeah, they were. Both these guys, I remember that. Yeah. Ned, I remember Joe telling me, Ned's a hidden boss. Tyro's a hidden boss. I yeah. didn't know who these people were. I saw Ned come out, and I was like, oh, that's cool. He just plays a lot of characters. No, nah, man. And I, I saw Tyroy come. I was at that GGA, the first one he went to. That was first words out of my mouth the first time I saw Tyroy play, sponsored this man. <laughs> he, he was so fundamentally sound as a player, and as he grew with patience, he grew as a player so quickly. Yeah. So, uh, and I don't know he, what the set is, but uh, Tyroy has a lot of. Is this best of five? No, it, it, it's only winners, losers, grands. Um, I believe the set count between these two is either 14 or 15 Tyroy and either one or two Ned. Yeah. The funny part is that, oh, wow, Ned's actually going to Diddy. He has been working on his matchup. But uh, these two, like, Tyroy is, even though they Tyroy's beating them a lot, like, they're always pretty close. And the only time Ned is actually beating them is at Tyroy School. That, yeah. UFI, which is pretty funny. That is pretty funny. <laughs> Ned drove three hours to finally get his first win. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, let's go to Town of City. Game I one. don't know how to feel about this. I like the pick for Diddy because you have the, the hoo-ha still technically is a yeah. confirm. Up throw, up air will kill at the right percents. However, Neto, given yeah. the 599 combo with chance to get you, it's like risky. That is probably really confident in this, uh, this matchup then if he's okay with going to Tennessee. City. Yeah, Tyra does not mind camping. Yeah. He's, this man used to play Dare Camp Meta Knight the game. And the thing and is, too, like I feel like in this matchup, Whoever wins game one is going to be really important because it's going to cause a counter pick. Because I could see if, uh, if Tyroy loses game one, he's probably going to go Cloud or Sheik. And if, uh, if if Ned loses game one, I doubt he'll stay with Diddy. So. Going up. Oh, good DI from Ned. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't work on Cloud in this matchup. I still feel like Cloud has some of the best tools to actually beat Bayonetta in the entire game. Goes for the hoo-ha. Yeah. Just a couple percent off, actually. And that's gonna that's kill. gonna kill off the top. Yeah, Ned is uh is uh is Diddy's looking pretty solid right now. It is. And I know a lot of people have been saying like Diddy wins this matchup. And this is definitely looking like it right now. Tyro's looking a little like flustered, but it I definitely looks like uh. I don't think he's looking flustered. I think he's just, he's missed a couple of inputs. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, because he's such a, like, a crisp player. Like, you don't see him miss a lot of uh, conversions. Yeah, like, oh, right the, there. The like, platform also helped. Yeah. Maybe that's part of the reason that Ned picked the stage, so that he had platforms to escape to that kept moving around. Oh, wow. He was actually facing the other way. That was weird. Well, that's witch time for you. <laughs> was it because he got hit by the banana? Maybe. You think so? Okay, yeah. Pro I don't know if the banana... It's a trick box, though. It's not a damage box, is it? I think it still counts, yeah. It does 2% cool. damage, so yeah, it was probably the banana. But wow, that's, that's pretty... Uh, that's pretty drink. <laughs> I'm so glad Sage is on production. Just sits there as, like, a well of knowledge of a human being. Yeah, whenever we mess up, he's there to uh, fix this. <laughs> but, uh... 98%. A down tilt up smash is going to kill pretty soon. If not right now. And that's definitely going for it. Oh, he had the he had it actually. I think. Yeah, looks like you just want to put on a little bit more percent before he goes for it. Doesn't want to uh, stale the off smash. Ned's a super patient player in that way, and I feel like it costs him games sometimes. Mm. He doesn't like going for the win when he might have it. He only likes going for the win when he does have it. Yeah, but the scary part is Up that Ned can Up. lose at any point. So, like, you you want to get this over with as soon as possible. Well, he's been working on the matchup, and the DI has really shown very effectively. Up B, 5, oh 90. My oh, my nope. goodness. Didn't get the last nine. About nine cents short of a kill. <laughs> up, oh, wow. up air? Almost killed. He's at 140. Tyler's doing that down air. Like, that down air has ridiculous knockback. You get that platform hits. saves him again. Town City's starting to look like the smartest counter pick. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that middle platform has saved him really hard. Twice. Four and won him the game. Gonna take it. So, that uh, takes game one. This is only a best of uh, three, right? So, that one's one more. 
to pull this out. So I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see if Tyron's going to stick with Bayonetta. Or he's actually I want to see if the there's a smile on JJ's face. A little bit, little bit of a grin back there. He's explaining to Bo why that happened. All right, so going to game two. We're, we, just about, we just had back-to-back -back E2C versus UR top eight matchups. That's true. That's good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff across the board. It. It's good to see the two the two small the two major sponsorship organizations in our state going at it, other than GGA, obviously. Yeah. Which all the love in the world to GGA. <laughs> That's just E two C and U R. There that that runs a little bit deeper. <laughs> so it looks especially, like Tyroy especially between these two. Bayo. Yeah. Tyroy's not gonna switch characters. Tyroy will play Bayonetta until. Probably she's nerfed her band, I think. I mean, I've seen him use Cloud a few times. Against uh, JJ. Really? Yeah. I don't recall that since Bayo came out anyway. Oh my goodness, the time is kind of going hammer right now. Yep. But all that, you're looking at it, did 35%. Yeah. Where three hits from Diddy Kong this game have done 33. So. Yeah, that's the thing about Diddy. Like, that's another reason why this matchup. Is uh, one of the better matchups against Bale because his damage output is actually ridiculous. Like one of those down throw combos is gonna get you like 30 percent, 30 uh, plus, 30 percent plus. Whoa! He, okay. he double tapped the monkey flip. And now he's truly looking like JJ. <laughs> wow! <laughs> the shots. Why <laughs> you gonna call me out after this? <laughs> nah, that's fine. I get called out sometimes for things I say about Diddy Kong, so don't worry about it. But you will never convince me in a million years that Diddy is not a top five character. Back up, back up. See, the, five, the, the thing about 99. this, that Ned is really letting this uh, this get away from him right now. Yeah, he is. I think Ned should not be looking towards yeah. game three, but I feel like that's the mentality. The man got Lake a two lap before that last hit. Okay, nah, it's a force smash. Yeah, he's showing some fight right now though. I love this stage so yeah. much. Yeah, like that. I feel like, I feel like that really happened because of the stage tilted. That's pretty uh, disorienting. It's something you got to learn to play around. Stages shouldn't always just be flat. Yeah, there's some, there's some cool stuff that you can do on this stage. Like I was just, I was just playing some Pac-Man dittos with uh, Duck Duck Pony. Red. Pac-Man has some cool stuff on here. Ned read the witch time. That's hard to do. Oh, he just missed it. Yeah, because the, the window to punish witch time is extremely small. You mean non-existent? Essentially, yeah. Like, the chance you're gonna punish which time is like the same chance you're gonna hit somebody recovering on the stage. <laughs> All right, he's out of range of just the <laughs> the softy bread and butter. Yeah, Tyra's starting to let this game get away from him a little bit himself. Yeah, like, like, I thought that was letting this go away from him. This is Tyra's getting to lose, honestly. Oh yeah, absolutely. When your opponent suicides at like 50 or whatever it was. He's just throwing out these uh, these wishes. And the thing I like is that Ned hasn't really been trying to punish it. Because, like, punishing those can get you punished from another wish twist. <laughs> yeah, you just got to play Bayo so patient. Yeah. Cappy and I were talking about this. It's just the way to beat a Bayonet is just with smart spacing and super patience. And that's what Ned's been doing. And he has not been getting caught by any of these. Like, Tyro has been throwing these out like nothing. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh wow. oh, wow. Okay, now pretty close to kill percent. Like, he gets a banana forest smash near the Up ledge. air, not quite. Diddy Kong, secret middle, not middleweight. Back air going to kill, though. Okay. All right, we're going to game three. Ned was upset about that, but honestly, I feel like he, he's probably not feeling too bad. Because he SD'd pretty early, and he almost won, so. I'm hoping he doesn't switch game three, but... Tyroy the boy, taking game two. We're going to have a game three. That was close, though, remember. And that's suicided. That's playing yeah. this very well. All right, I, I could get down with some Kalos Pokemon League on stream. <laughs> some Pac-Land. <laughs> oh, no. Some OGS. No, nah, Yoshi's Island, that stage is bad, bro. Nah, dog. I hate that stage. I love I that. I hate that stage all the way in Melee. I love that stage. Because the middle thing will hit you, and then you just die. I just stayed up on the hill and janked people. Oh, come on, man. I was one of those players. I was, I'm a Jigglypuff man. I was a scumbag. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. 
going to Duck Hunt. That's an interesting counter pick from uh, yeah, from Ned. because uh, you know what the Town and City platform saved him a lot. Okay. I don't know where. Oh wait, they have the chance to switch thing. characters. Is Tyra gonna switch? But uh, Tyra might switch to Meta Knight here. Chic. Really. I mean, Ned uh, lost the last match, so he can actually switch. Yep. <laughs> and see, that's uh, that's the thing about Duck Hunt. I was just about to say earlier, I was talking about how the U of I boys, they love uh, Duck Hunt. So, Tyro definitely likes the stage. He's probably on the inside, he's smiling. On the outside, he's smiling too, but on this side, he's smiling a little bit harder. Because <laughs> I know uh, Tyro actually loves this stage. Oh, he thinks yeah. he has it in the bag. And he might. He thinks he has an advantage here always. I'm surprised he didn't pick oh, yeah. Meta Knight, though. Because that up, up throw on the tree is I mean, so stupid. He can needle kill him. He can. Oh, we're getting it again. <laughs> okay. That, that smile went away a little bit. <laughs> but he can needle camp him. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Sheldon's real. You don't see it too much, but his real is definitely real. Sheldon's real. I know is that, that almost. Terrifying. That, that kind of rhymed. But his real is real. I don't know how much we've been playing with you today. It I'm might a, hurt him. But. I, I got to throw the tiniest bit of shade here at Ned. Um, when he doesn't practice Ryu throughout the day, sometimes he comes out looking a little unclean. Yeah. I hate to say it. And but honestly, he's, he like, does that in bracket all the time where he'll be like, switch to Ryu. And it takes him a full stock to adjust. And Ty Tyra's not the kind of player you have a full stock to play against. Although, Tyra does play passively enough. Yeah. Oh my god, that trade. <laughs> Whenever somebody trades a Ryu, like, you never won that trade. <laughs> yeah, see, Tyroy. Yeah, man, like, he. he oh, Tyroy's, Tyroy's gonna try to time this game out. And he's gonna try to get in his head. Like, this type. Chasing around somebody like that all game, like, that's definitely, like, mentally taxing. And it's just annoying, so. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is the most annoying. <laughs> he's going up straight up to the tree. No question. <laughs> I Tyra, love this stage so much. Tyra is a troll. <laughs> he's not a troll. That's how you play Duck Hunt. Yeah, I'm saying he's playing it right. It's just funny. It is funny. <laughs> he's got the lead, but that yeah. lead looks super thin against Ryu ever. Like, dude, you can't get yeah, caught by a tilt or you might just die. That hits him one more time. He's 100%. Got him. Oh, not, oh wow. Happy. I think that could have actually DI'd and lived. Yeah, he definitely can. That's not true. No, no, no. I mean from the hit. Oh, okay. Because it looked like Ryu died at the very last possible second. Just turned around with a Shoryuken! Okay. <laughs> the Sheldon tech. I'm, just, I'm happy to see that Ned isn't really, like, uh, losing his composure or anything. He's still playing pretty safe. No, not at all. This is so huge. This is our number one and number two on the PR, unquestionably. Oh, yeah. They actually are. <laughs> they actually are, like... <laughs> Before, we were, the last time we were talking about they should be number one and two, but they actually are number one and two yeah. now. Oh, Tyra right. playing smart. But sometimes, sometimes it's the, the strategy is play lame, win game. Get up there. If you have yeah, time, charge like, needles. If not, I'm whatever. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. This is so funny. <laughs> This man is just running away. <laughs> I think Ned, Ned regretted it the second he said Duck Hunt. Oh, yeah. It was kind of a, a, a weird thing, honestly. Like I, I would never pick Duck Hunt against Tyroid. I mean, to be fair, like he was still using Bale. Like, he probably wasn't thinking he was going to switch. But, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, still, like I wouldn't want to go the stage against him because he plays on the stage a lot. And this is usually his kind of pick. Like, if, honestly, if this is the best of five, Tyro probably would have picked the stage the next game if he lost. Oh, trade? And that's game. Be it. Two stock and Ned with the head shake, yeah. and he's walking away. He's not I think he that. knows that that was just the wrong <laughs> stage decision. Yeah, we can say, get the camera on <laughs> just, <laughs> he, wants to see, he wants to see everything. <laughs> just, he's, waiting. Duck on. he's waiting for this man to throw something. <laughs> Tyroy yeah, knows too, like, got away with Duck Hunt. Who picks Duck Hunt against Tyroy? It's yeah. just the wrong call. 